If you see this coming, you better get a good doctor lined up because it's going to hurt. What do we got here? About 4,000 points of winter themed Eldar. They were done using the artistic license option, so the client really didn't know what the theme was going to be. And let me see, what do we got here? We have a lot of conversion works, like these Shining Spears uh, have heads from Epic Revenant Titans, same with their lances. We have uh, these custom resin bases. I'm not sure which company makes those, but if somebody knows and can identify them from the still picks, just contact me and I'll be sure to put the link up. A lot of Forge World stuff on here. Uh, a lot of uh, conversion work, like um, both of the Forge World items have these bombed out vehicles on them. Uh, Space Wolves, possibly the chapter there. This is a Nightwing by Forge World. This, I believe, is a Phoenix Bomber. And what else? Here's a Autark and a custom jet bike. The client did that one. It looks very nice. Here's some of those custom bases. Now, you notice some of these are up on foam blocks. It's because we're waiting for the bases to, uh, for the green stuff to cure that we put on there for extra reinforcement. These are alternate turrets. And Forge World Wave Serpent backs, which are very handsome. I've got some myself. Here you have a Night Spinner. A lot of unusual color schemes, but they all definitely fit. These uh, blue and white Howling Banshees really are quite striking. And these striking scorpions done in khaki, uh, very pale khaki, are uh, some of my favorite models in the army. Uh, the artist told me that his favorite models were these uh, ice camo uh, rangers, which are uh, really, really uh, pretty awesome. So overall, a very, very detail-oriented army that ties in thematically very well. Be sure to check out the still pics in the upper right. Those are forthcoming. And I hope you all enjoyed.